morning. <clears throat> Degenerates! <sighs> I'm feeling good. Just got back from the gym. Oh, yeah. Okay, I haven't done one of these in a while, so we're going to have a little talk. Last night after Raid, last night after Raid, I had a nice conversation with uh, Trekkie from Method, uh, their Paladin tank. Cool guy. Like him. It's very rare that I like people. You know, I'm kind of like, oh, the sun, people, oh, get away. Just kidding. I'm a very social guy. I like talking to people, going a little crazy. And um, we were talking about Wildstar and, and WoW when it comes to raiding. Now, Wildstar is preparing to unleash 40-man raids. 40-man raids, 20-man raids, right? 40-man raids are apparently going to be, you know, what they're looking to challenge people with. Now, Going back to 40-man raiding is a little crazy. Because you can tell a lot of GMs out there, a lot of raid leaders and officers are like, <sighs> Why? Why? <laughs> I don't want to do it. I mean, even myself, I raid-led uh, most of 40-man raiding, and we did pretty good progression. We cleared up to, like, Thaddeus and Nax 40 and that was pretty much it. We we fell apart before either Keldazad or the big dragon with the frosty whatever. And um, yeah, I just didn't, I don't know. And then we started talking about, you know, what would it take for a guild-like method or a Blood Legion or Envy or Midwinter to leave World of Warcraft for Wildstar? Like, what would that take? And they said it would take benefits. Pretty much, he, he said the benefit of um, doing 40-man rating and the reward would have to be greater, you know, than anything. And I'm talking about 40 to 20-man, not Wild Star to Blizzard. So 40-man rating would have to give you a far better reward than 20-man rating, you know, for you to, to up the ante and get more people to join you for a 40-man raid. Now, one thing that we've noticed over the years is Blizzard doesn't actually acknowledge world firsts. And we spoke about this last night. It doesn't actually acknowledge world firsts. They don't say, congratulations, Method. Congratulations, Blood Legion, on, you know, uh, that bug chick in Heart of Fear. Forgot her name. What was her name? Something. Uh, they don't actually congratulate you. When you go to MMO Champion, MMO Champion is not Blizzard. MMO Champion congratulates them and says, congratulations, to Method, to Blood Legion, World First. Sometimes they get invited to Blizzards for events. You know, you know, you, uh, Dragon Soul, this guild versus this guild shit. But Blizzard never actually acknowledges it. And Trekkie, like, opened my eyes to that. He's like, oh my god, you're right. Blizzard doesn't really, you know, uh, care about who gets World First. It's a race only to those that are in it from a guild standpoint. Now we said to ourselves, what if Wildstar or Blizzard were to give you a reward for World First? Whoa, we got a badass over here. Whoa. Whoa. Show it. Mm -mm. Oh, God. Oh, shit. What were to happen if they were to give a reward for World First? And I'm talking like a prize. You know, let, let's... Let's just think, right? Wildstar. Wildstar comes out with their 40-man rating. Wildstar says 40-man rating is more beneficial than 20-man. You get more gear. You get uh, unlock, You get more challenge. It's harder. It's more difficult. It's the challenge that the hardcore raider wants. Whoever gets world first, this end dungeon, this end raid boss, without exploiting or without you know cheating in any way, shape, or form, Whatever, fifty thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars, prizes, computers, uh, five thousand dollar computers for your entire raid with Wild Star decals on it. Um, and I'm saying to myself, that would be something that would probably make guilds leave from other. Now, is it a cheesy tactic to try to get people to leave uh, a powerful PVE MMO? Like, wow, yeah, but it would work. I think the guilds like Method. I think the guilds like. Blood Legion, that German guild I can't pronounce, Midwinter, the Envies, the Paragons. Uh, Paragon is the only 10-man guild I know. Sorry. I think they would fucking drool. They would be foaming at the mouth to be in a world-first competition for prize money. If arenas and 3v3s and there's tournaments and other games, if they 
can actually compete for money, why can't PVEers? And I said to myself, that's so weird. Why hasn't Blizzard capitalized on this? Why hasn't Blizzard given out uh, prizes for World First? You know, separated maybe EU and US mainly because of the, the launch difference or the one day reset difference. I don't know, whatever, man. But isn't that a crazy thought? I say to myself, if Wildstar's 40 man rating is as hard as they claim it's gonna be and rewarding, if they throw in something as crazy as prize money and prizes for world first, even second and third get something, you might see a little bit of an exodus from WoW to that game. I don't know, and, and I know hype train, choo choo, motherfucker, choo choo, join the hype train, yeah, everyone go. But you know what? I think it might work. And uh, I'm gonna be going to Comic Con this weekend, so I'm going to hopefully talk to one of them and ask them straight up. I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty straightforward guy, man. I ask, I ask anything that I feel like I need to ask, and I, I'm gonna ask them, I'm like, what are your thoughts on that kind of system? Is this something that you guys are thinking about? I don't know. But I want to know what you guys think. Tell me in the comments. Like, what, like, how would your guilds... Like, would your guilds even leave WoW to compete for prizes in World First PvE? Even knowing that you're not even, like, top 100, top 1,000, top 2,000. Not even... If, what if you're just a casual 10-man reigning guild? Would that then make your fucking... You know, would that give you that adrenaline? Would you just start going like, oh my God, we can do this. Let's try harder. Let's work harder. Let's get together a better team. Mass recruitment going crazy. Like, would you? Would your guilds leave WoW, even playing WoW for a decade for another game like Wildstar or any other MMO that decides world first PvE bosses prizes? Let me know. On top of all that, man, um, the diet's going great. I know everyone always wants to know about the diet. Um, I'm having a great time. Uh, I'm almost down to 230. I'm like 233, 234, 235. I'm currently taking, uh, I'm not really taking any more caffeine. I'm not taking like any more Oxyleaf Pro. I'm off of that because, you know, I don't want to take so much that it gives me some sort of damage. You know, you're only supposed to, you're supposed to cycle off of it after eight weeks. And right now I'm like on my third week cycling off of it. So, I mean, the only thing that sucks about it is that Oxyleaf Pro is a huge appetite suppressant. But I'm currently taking Nitrix 2.0, which is like Nitrix Oxide. And um, it's, you know, it's like, it's like creatine. It's creatine. It, it's a, it's it, it you know it helps with your vascularity, opens up the blood vessels, gives you more of a pump when you're at the gym. And I've been making some pretty significant uh, gains at the gym, and I'm pretty proud of that. I'm pretty happy about it. So I'm going to continue going. I mean, obviously, I can't stop just because I'm close to my goal. Oh, tell you hit 230. Now he's going to gain all his weight back. I'm just going to do what I got to do, man. I'm just going to keep lifting. I'm going to keep uh, eating right. Like currently, I'm barely even juicing, and I'm still shredding fat and adding muscle and losing weight slowly, not as fast as before. But, I mean, I'm actually having good meals like, you know, chicken breast asparagus, fish with brown rice, you know. Um, I still have my cheat day where I fucking go apeshit and I go crazy. And, and I'm not scared anymore to have a cheat day and gain like four or five pounds on a cheat day because I'm just going to do better as the weeks go forward. Me and my trainer, we're like working harder. We're like lifting harder. We're adding way more weight. I mean, for the first almost a year now that I've been training at the gym with a trainer, uh, you know, we're pretty much done with the whole lightweight high repetition now we're going to like, you know, uh, heavier weight, 16 reps, 14, 12, 16, 14, 12, depending on if we're doing legs, you know, we're slapping on 45s and shit and just going crazy. And I'm burning a lot of calories because I'm lifting some pretty decent shit and I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, we killed Lei Shen and wow, Lei Shen is dead, 12 out of 13, working on Radin right now. I'm probably not going to be tanking Radin. Radin's more like a brewmaster fight. You know, with a brewmaster, you don't have to worry about, like, a paladin tank, like, missing his shield of the righteous or anything, you know. Or, uh, or a warrior tank missing his shield block. Like, brewmaster just sits there, doesn't even fucking move the entire fight, and just builds shuffle for, like, 19 minutes. Just builds shuffle. And just blows whatever cooldown he needs to, to survive. And if he dies, it's probably a healer uh, issue. But Lei Shen took 244 attempts. We killed it after having a sixth healer. And that was a big controversy. Ugh, six healer. You guys shouldn't have used six healer. I mean, I know our GM really wanted to use five, but six was just, I think, a necessity at that time just to kill him. Yesterday, we killed him again twice in the same week. After reset, we killed him, and we killed him in, like, 11 or 12 attempts and with five healers. Everyone did their job. I mean, it should be, like, 
automatic by now, you know? So we're, pr I mean, I consider myself done with this fucking tier. So 5.4, here we come. Paladin tanks, uh, Brewmaster tanks, I'm not sure. We do have Alex Monk as a Brewmaster. I'm not sure if Sparty wants to keep him as a Brewmaster tank. I'll talk to him and see what he wants to do. Um, I know I definitely, uh, I could request that he bring my Brewmaster in for uh, farm content. That way I can actually get some gear. And that would be great. And I think that I, you know, I could stand up to the challenge of playing my Brewmaster again. I have no problem with that. But other than that, everything's going great. The stream is going great. Uh, I have some cool stuff coming up, uh, hooking up with Razor uh, for the next two months, seeing how some things go. Um, I'm, we're going to be having some Subscriber Sunday uh, goody goodies uh, coming from them. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about it. You know, like the live stream has just been flourishing. Uh, I'm still trying to work hard on like the forums and the community. The forums is like the hardest part to get to put together. And uh, right now I'm actually paying somebody like uh, a decent amount of money to give me like a legit like MMO style layout. We got Final Fantasy 14 coming out. Rift is still free to play and doing great. Wildstar, ESO. I can't really say much about ESO because they might just shut down this video, but eh, not really. Um, and that's pretty much about it. So, I mean, once again, thanks everyone for the strong support. I really appreciate it. Like, you know, see, like, after three years of streaming, I thought that people would just get straight up fucking bored of the channel. But, I mean, we're still keeping the same numbers. We're climbing every month. Unique visitors, concurrent viewers, sub Sundays get better and better. You have your shit days, but then you have a pretty slew of amazing days that... You know, and uh, without you guys, I wouldn't have the strength and the power to keep myself the way I am and, and still be the same fucking dick face tally. You know, like, you know, I, I, I'm trying to work with these other companies and try to tell them, you know, I know that most of the guys that you guys sponsor are all, oh, I'm a nice and, oh, look at me, I'm a swell guy. That's really great. Yeah, love it. You know, I try to tell them, look, this is who I am. This is who I'm always going to be, you know. You want to hook up with me? This is what you're going to get. You know, I'm not looking to become a world famous gamer kind of guy. I'm just some dude that streams every day. I'm the average Joe. I show up for work. I talk to people. I play. If they want to show up, it's up to them. I don't, tr I don't even try to get people in my channel. They just come, you know, and it's great. It's a great feeling. I love doing this for a living and I'm happy for everyone else on Twitch that's doing this for a living. Everyone is having a great time. We're all having a great time. Everyone's getting prizes. Everyone's having fun. Everyone's happy. <sighs> I got to go stream now because I might, yeah, later. <sighs> I got to shave.